Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Modded Minecraft 1.12, playing here on the One Man One Mod Mod Pack. We're still in season one. We're still playing with immersive engineering. We're still having fun, and today's no different. Today, we are going to get uh, we're going to get closer to the diesel generation. We there's a few intermediate steps. We need to squeeze some plant oil. We need to ferment some ethanol, and then we need to refine that and make biodiesel. So let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get some of that biodiesel uh, refined, okay? So we've got to make it before we can turn it into IF, okay? So uh, what's that process? Well, we'll go in here into power wires and generators. We'll go to diesel generator, and you see it it's going to require this biodiesel. Now, we could probably we could go ahead and build the diesel generator, no problem. We've got the stuff, okay? We have the technology. We can build it but we don't have the, the thing that's necessary to run it, and that's biodiesel. So we come into here, that requires the refinery. Uh, okay, so it's a decent amount of stuff here. Nothing that you haven't seen me build before, or craft before, but just arranged in a different manner. Okay, so, but uh, this requires a couple of inputs that we first need to get to, and that is plant oil and ethanol. And so the plant oil, we, we make this structure, it's called the squeezer. And that's what we send our industrial hemp seeds into, and that makes the plant oil. Okay, we'll go back one, we'll go back to ethanol, and we'll pause this, go up all the layers. Pretty similar construction, and this takes the potatoes and turns it into ethanol that we can then feed into this refinery. Okay, so if we have time today, we will get to the refinery. If not, oh well. So, first things first, uh, we've got a couple new additions. I added another couple of cloches, one for the industrial hemp, one for the potato. And that is because uh, we're this uh, ultimately our goal is to make the excavator. Okay. It's going to require a lot of IF and it may outpace our cloche production. I don't know. We will find out. We've got two cloches each dedicated to the types of liquids that we need so let's uh let's let's stop dilly dallying and get over here so i've got a uh, refinery is right there so first things first we've got ooh, spooky noises do we have all of uh do we have some conveyor belts of course we don't have conveyor belts i thought i was prepared for this but apparently i wasn't so let's go up to the next level and this is where one of those neat elevator blocks would be great but we don't have that here in this mod pack conveyor belt vertical and bob's your uncle okay we're good now let's drop back down here and the next layer yes okay so we're going to go into our squeezer right here we're going to grab all of the parts that we need and uh, there we go so we need to pull the items out of here out of this silo and that's going to go into our squeezer and let's take a look at this thing and biodiesel plant oil okay it's paused where's the input items can be input into the squeezer via two hatches at the back that are marked with blue dots okay so the back i hate it when it does that let's go this way no 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 plant oil okay so the back is this section right here so if we orient it that way we should be fine output is right here th through that uh, fluid pipe so let's just do this okay we'll take a look at what we need to do right there all right so not too shabby we should be able to do this and hopefully not go back to our engineer's manual and we're going to put it fairly close to these things and what do we got okay so i did go ahead and put a uh, yeah yeah so if you got a redstone signal on the silo it's going to automatically output 
I don't know if that's a good thing. It could be why I'm getting a little bit of lag here, but who knows? We shall see. We shall see. Now, what happens if we do this? It doesn't pull automatically. Huh. That might be a problem. It might be a distinct problem. We can do this. Okay. Can we pick that guy up? Put it right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can do... Boom. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, I'll still have to fill all of that back in, but that's fine. All right. So what we want to do is we want to start with our squeezer maybe sit right about there okay like so little l shape and then uh we don't need the steel fence quite yet but we do need the fluid pipes boom boom and then redstone engineering block right there maybe i am gonna have to go to the book i'm sorry Okay, it is on the other side. Light engineering blocks right there. Nothing on this side that I'm currently standing on. Okay, so right there. And then we'll get our light engineering block. Boom, boom. And then, then we go with our wooden barrels. Okay, like so. And then steel fence there at the top. And then we can get our piston. We'll just put it right there. It's not in the correct position quite yet. But we can rotate that thing like so. Boom. Okay. So now we've got uh, we've got our squeezer. But it would be nice to have this thing be able to turn on and off. Let's see. How's this? Let's get rid of the torch in the redstone control inverted. Okay. Good. All right. So... Is that too close? I don't think that's too close. There's the input right there. Okay, let's try. Like so. <laughs> like that. Okay, so that's going in. And then I don't want this automatically leaving quite yet. So we need to do that. And then that. And that. Hmm. No. Let's do that? No. Okay, I see. Uh, we should be able to then just do that and that. And we'll shift that one. And let's see if this works. I don't know if it will, but I just need to make sure that these hemp seeds get in to our... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there we go. If you shift and move, you should be fine. Okay, let's do that. Does it go right in? No, it doesn't. Okay, so uh, what we may need to do is move this out just a little bit. Okay, so let's do that. Yep, take this all back down. We need a little bit more room. And that's one of the things about immersive engineering that you kind of got to get used to. You can't build these compact. I am getting some major lag. What in the world? I don't know. I'll have to do some lag busting a little later. But but certainly that was too close. So let's do this again. If it's worth doing once, it's worth doing twice, right? So supposedly an old IBM saying, I don't know. I've never, never worked at IBM. But, uh, or that's just a joke that I've heard IBMers say. But we'll do that. And light engineering blocks again. And, you know, if you keep messing this up, you end up becoming pretty good at building the thing. Okay. And once again, piston. Good. And ring down the hammer. Boom. Okay. Now, let's try on this level it's going in good like so and like so and like so now let's try see if this works yes it does excellent so you may be wondering what is missing soap um well what's missing is something that needs to go right there and so we've got lv wire connector 
we'll do that and then i've got conveniently have already pulled some oh no 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 we're going to have some backup power right here so one of the things that i've been doing you may have noticed it as we build all these various machines we do build in um, some extra power storage there on the top so opposite side no connection we want output like that input is right there and we will do wire connector and then we'll grab our insulated lv wire boom boom awesome so now we've got that that's full uh should be full we've got another one bringing the i if down from that and then if we take a look in here oh it hasn't quite done enough can we just throw that in there oh because i inverted the output so or inverted the redstone control let's do that not inverted and we should see that it is producing a little bit of seed oil okay so it's not the fastest thing in the world but that's fine all right now the next order of business let us take our axe right here uh not that one potato let's put that right like so and then we will turn that off okay and we just got to keep in mind that i've got these things turned off for now because we've got to come with some redstone some special redstone control a little later let's come over to the fermenter it's almost the same setup okay you you will be pretty excited about this let's see output in the back input okay so i still need the if to come from over here somewhere so uh, we will we'll just go like uh, come did i you know I, I need to learn my lesson here you know what let's come over this way a little bit get a little bit closer to our plant oil squeezer maybe leave three um yeah let's let's leave a little bit more space in here shall we how's that um i don't know we'll we'll find out like that no we'll find out let's let's fill the rest of this thing up uh light engineering block same thing okay then the redstone engineering block then we've got some fluid pipes right here and then we come in with cauldrons okay so instead of uh what were those i can't remember what they were um tanks barrels barrels that was it instead of barrels we go with cauldrons and then some iron sheet metal kind of like we've got a silo okay or a tank and then we should be able to take our hammer and as with everything in immersive engineering hit it with a hammer and you're good okay and so next up get one of these lv capacitors uh let's you know before we put too much effort into this like so and like so yeah let's do this and a potato goes in good potato stays in there and then what we will do is hammer once again shift right click and that lets you toggle the opposite side it's a really cool feature we'll turn that to output and then lv wire connector like so and can this thing reach here's hoping boom and boom yes it does so we we've got some if in there and we've got 80 millibuckets of ethanol already awesome now looking at our time we've got plenty of time so let's go here into the refinery and we'll grab this stuff right here do i need to make anything more for this i shouldn't i think i've got everything where's the book did i hmm you guys might be seeing it there it is okay look at the book and we'll go back one we've got all the things awesome so uh, let's take a look here input where's that 
Fluids are input through the two ports on either side of the block and output through the orange marked port at the front. Okay, so I think what we need to do is maybe build it right here and go back. No, 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 biodiesel. It is three by five. Okay, and we need plenty of space for our pipes. We've got some pipes over, not there, not there. Let's, let's do this just so it's not confusing us anymore. Okay, and then we've got pipes in here that we can use for later. Okay, so let's get to building this thing, shall we? Uh, notice the structure. It's got two tanks on either side. We've got steel scaffolding on the bottom, fluid pipes right there, heavy engineering block in the front, light engineering block in the back. Okay, so two of those, okay. I think I think we can do this. So let's let's get going, shall we? Boom, boom, and skip one right there. And same thing. And we'll just do another torch right here. Okay, seems good enough for now. We'll see if that was not such a good plan in a bit. And get the light engineering. Wait, which one? Light on the back like that redstone engineering block and then heavy right here and then we go with the iron sheet metal like so okay and then we'll grab the hammer and boom and that was it okay awesome so what we now need to do is take the ethanol and feed it in to right here Okay, and then we need to take the plant oil and we'll snake it around like so. Why does it do that? Can we disconnect that thing? Yes, we can. Awesome. Okay, not not too shabby. All right, and now what we've got, we take a look in here. A little bit of plant oil. A little bit of ethanol. Okay, and maybe we'll get... A little bit more of that going here in just a moment but we do need to add some if to it so can we can we get up there uh not easily like that okay good shift right click input good and then we will put lv wire connector right like that and then once again, hopefully, hopefully, we've got plenty of room for this. Boom and boom. So that's filling up. All right, now comes the fun. We should see that we're generating some, some biodiesel, okay? And what we will do is start to get some of this going a little bit more uh, like that. Okay, so... Uh, I think we can we'll grab this. Uh, I'm not going to do that on camera. What you might see me do a little later, and I will just explain it to you here. Uh, you won't see me do this on camera, but I think we need to have a tank right here in the middle of this whole uh, of each of these to hold a little bit of a backup right here and right here for the plant oil and ethanol. And then we'll have another tank for the biodiesel. But if we take a look here, it's already producing a ton. So let's turn this off for now and we'll see how all of that went. Okay, so it filled those up. And it's making ethanol still. But yeah, I don't want to get too far ahead on this because we don't have any, any recourse. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Well, once this thing gets full of potatoes and... Uh, well, let's let's back up. Okay, so once we fill this thing with biodiesel, the ethanol and plant oil are going to fill up here. Okay, and so once those back up, these pipes are not going to transmit anymore. And so these will fill up with the plant oil and ethanol respectively. And then that means the the items here are going to fill up from the uh, from our our silos. Okay. So if we get a backlog where we're not using the diesel, uh, we could end up with this inventory entirely full 
and then uh, the potatoes are going to keep coming into here and they're going to pile up right here and we will have a big problem on our hands we don't want that so i'm going to have to come up with a way of figuring out um how to turn that silo off when when this thing is full so uh, I'll, I'll figure that out there are ways to do that here and um where is that maybe power it could be in here let's see current transformer what does that do no it's not that power generation no redstone redstone wires yes yeah, so let's come through here redstone wire connector okay we've already done that before oh, okay here we go we've got the redstone probe connector Okay, so this thing I can attach to each of uh, the fermenter and the squeezer. And we can get a redstone signal that it's kind of like a comparator. We can get a redstone signal out of that and transmit that. So if it's a certain full percentage, I can turn the silo off. And that's probably what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do that off camera between now and maybe the next time we're together. So, um, so yeah, anyway. Uh, just a heads up, we may not get an episode next week. I'm getting ready to go on a business trip, but um, yeah, I'm going to be out of town, which means I'm not going to be able to record this week. So we'll probably not, we may not have one uh, next week, and then we may not have one the next week. It depends on how recording goes after that, but hopefully you enjoyed. We've got our diesel infrastructure in place now, and we've got these things all wired up and piped up, and anyway, it's a uh, it's a ripe mess and I love it. It looks really cool. And, uh, and, and yeah, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing. So you're up to date with everything else going on, on the channel. That's going to be it for now. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.